good morning dear student it's good to be back once again so student we have learned about memory game uh, in our last class so i hope you still remember now today we're going to start with a new topic that is our national symbols we're going to learn about our national symbols so our aim for today is students will be able to identify the national symbol of india resources required is your resource sheet which i'll be giving you your s4 s4 your exit content book and your notebook as well keywords for today is national symbol emblem and anthem so as usual let's learn the meaning of the keywords so this is the meaning of the term all right so a national symbol first of all national symbol okay a national symbol is a symbol of any entity considering and manifesting itself to the world as a national community that is known as national symbol all right an emblem a representative symbol such as a trademark or logo that is known as emblem and anthem a hymn of praise or loyalty that is known as anthem all right now i hope you are clear with the meaning of the term all right first question okay so this is our school logo okay all right so this is our school and symbol all right the symbol of our manharmon higher secondary school so what does the picture mean or why do we have it in our school diary beige or bags all right in your school diary calendar you will have in your school page even in your school bag as well as well okay we have the school logo so what does the picture mean all right students so see listen the picture on our school uh, diary or our school calendar our school page and our school bags describe more about our school all right it describe more about us something more about our school okay it is a symbol for our school we recognize our country with the help of this symbol called national symbol okay so the symbol that we have in our school is mainly to recognize our school all right from other school okay to differentiate our school from other school similarly we recognize our country with the help of symbol okay called as national symbol all right so today we will learn about the different symbol of our country all right we're going to learn about the different symbol of our country so for that i want you guys to observe the given picture here okay so as you can see the picture that i given here i want you guys to observe properly all right so as you can see different picture with tiger you can uh you see with panda lotus all right banyan tree all right peacock mango uh indian flag all those okay they are pictures so i want you guys to observe properly okay all right so student what did you notice the most about this about this picture question here is <clears throat> what did you notice the most about this picture about this picture okay which in your view could be the national bird or national animal or national fruit or national tree or national flag and other symbol of india and why all right that is from this view okay which is which could be your national bird or your national anim an animal or our national fruit tree flag and other symbol of india and why all right so listen here another question is which are the national symbol of india can you think of a reason why they are our national symbol all right 
so listen here as you can see from this given picture okay that the tiger okay the tiger is our national animal all right as you can see the picture of tiger here the tiger is our national animal okay and the peacock as you can see peacock here the peacock is our national bird the lion pillar of sarnath is our national anthem okay talking about this the lion pillar of sarnath is our national emblem all right and it is a symbol used on all important papers even in our currency okay even in money it is a symbol used on all important papers and our rupee notes as well okay that we have the money all right please check it from your money as well okay so in rupee notes as well as coins of our country like one rupee coins or two rupee coins okay or five rupee coins you will see the sarnath pillar which is our national emblem similarly we sing our national anthem at all important functions to show respect to our country all right not only that we also sing our national anthem okay jana gana mana right i hope you know the song and also we fly our flags on important days like the independence day on 15 august all right our national symbols are chosen from this that are special to india all right so these are all our national symbol okay we recognize our country with this symbol okay so we recognize our country with the given symbol that i've shown you all right with this symbol we recognize our country india all right okay so the last question here is question number three okay is there anything specific about your state dance historical building anything else that could be a symbol for your state all right for that i want all of you to remember our state nagalin okay so is there anything specific about our state nagalin or the dance or historical building or anything else that could be the symbol for our state nagalin all right student it has got many okay so see uh you see a dance from form or a tourist place from their state okay for example someone living in maharashtra could say ajanta and ilora cave for assam someone could say bihu dance right and even for nagaland we have a traditional dance okay and we also celebrate uh hornbill festival and during the time you'll see lots of traditional dance as well all right and also see we have a naga heritage village right that can, uh, that is a part of historical monument for us okay and also uh many things like taj mahal that is a historical building okay so and red for at delhi all those can be the historical building all right which specifically denote about a particular state okay and you see the victoria memorial right in kolkata right that is a historical uh historical building for the state of west bengal as well all right so every state they have their own historical building historical dance okay all right so that's it for our discussion today things to do that is your homework for today okay you have to complete your worksheet as for all right for that uh, and then you have to do your practice question number four and practice question number five practice question number four and practice question number five okay so these are the two questions along with the worksheet that you are supposed to complete all right so take care all the base stay safe all of you